Hey, I'm down at the, uh, oh, this is my washer and dryer bench studio. Got a nice little light up here. But, um, yeah, it's about the only surface that I had in my uh, basement that doesn't have stuff all over it. So, um, I was getting ready to wire up this Octobanger project. And so I was going to just take a couple of video shots to show what I was doing as I do it. And um, the first thing that I did was on my, um, oh, I've got down here a little uh, power brick but um, since I'm going to be using the um, the power the regular power block or whatever you call it the terminal on the Arduino here um, I wanted to tap off because I'm going to use the same power supply just so I don't have to have multiples and you know more parts and uh, so I cut the end off of my power adapter right here back about six inches and then uh, measured it with a meter you know to find out for sure which one was the positive and the negative and then I just put a couple uh, little leads on there and soldered it all up so I'm gonna be able to borrow some power from my brick in order to run my 12 volt devices so so I'm gonna go ahead and put some heat shrink on here first and then uh, I'll go from there all right, I've got uh, everything wired up here on the Octobanger, and um, I'll give you a walkthrough of what I've got going on here. The, uh, the whole idea on this example project was to switch four different DC loads. I've got a, well, let's see, four DC loads plus an AC load, so. I'll just give you a walkthrough of what I've got here. First one is a high-powered red LED, runs off of 12 volts. Next two are uh, their two DC solenoids. Um, the fourth item is uh, an incandescent 12-volt floodlight, and then the fifth one is uh, an SSR uh, solid-state relay, and that's going to be switching AC for our uh, Shiatsu motor here. So. Um, I posted a first video, but um, I had a, an astute observer, Montclair's Lair, pointed out that I was switching the grounds, and um, it was he pointed out that it is a good best practice to get into to switch the uh, positive. So um, I did a little of my own research and found that you know it is kind of a, if you see a lot of schematics and things like that, it's just a good habit to get into to have ground be always grounded. And that kind of goes back to the, the automotive industry was a, a good example that was brought up a lot of times. Like, because your car's always, everything's a ground, so it's just a good idea to have your ground, you know, be the consistent one. So, on this one, I went ahead and I tied all the grounds together from my DC devices, ran them over to my ground that I borrowed off of the power brick wire here, and then my positive you can see that I've got it going over to my um, the common terminal here and then my common terminals on my relays are all daisy chained together so all the commons have the positive 12 volts going to them and then all of my DC loads are all connected to the normally open uh, terminals on each of the four relays so so that ended up, uh, you know, working out good, and I think it's a good uh, best practice to get into. So I'm gonna try to do that more often in the future. So thanks to Montclair's Lair for pointing that out. And then I've got my SSR over here hooked up. The, the I'll put more of a diagram in the document for this one, but um, you'll be able to see that um, the ground on this one is just going to the common ground on the Arduino. And then the red wire in this case is going to pin eight of one of the just eight uh, the I/O pins over here for channel five, and that's going into the the positive on this side of the uh, the SSR here. So so when that energizes, you'll be able to see the red light light up. That makes these uh, terminals conduct. And my so this is basically just cut up old extension cord, but the uh, the white and the green wire are just continuous. Don't don't mess with those. And then the black is actually the one that's cut, and that's the one that's being switched because that's the uh, hot wire. So 
I'll go ahead and uh, I've got it all plugged in and ready to go here so I'm gonna wave my hand in front of the PIR over here and I'll uh, let you watch it all kick off here yeah you probably heard the motor going over here but um, I'll uh, I'll blab for a couple seconds here more I'll let you actually observe this thing going I've got a 15 second uh, delay. There we go. But, yeah, you can, so you can see that thing turns this thing on and off no problem. And another nice thing about these SSRs is they've got um, capacitors in them. So if you've got a, a, a dirty load, you know, a potentially uh, noisy uh, AC load, these things handle uh, those things wonderfully. So. So anyway, that's just an overview of one of my, uh, just, you know, first prototype, uh, wiring things up and uh, trying it out. So, so give it a download and try it out and uh, let me know how it goes. Thanks.